Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about computer networking with IP addresses. In this lesson, we will discuss about the requirement of IP addresses, component of the IP addresses, and IP address classes, what do you mean by broadcast address, and network address. Before we move into the lesson, still if you are not subscribed my video channel, please subscribe now as well as don't forget to click the bell icon as well. Now let's see, Mr. Nimal. Mr. Nimal is having a computer. He can store, he can retrieve, he can do whatever process he need, but he is alone. And now we have two people, that Mr. Nimal and Mr. Kamal. They want to communicate with each other. So they use the concept called peer-to-peer -peer connection. Actually, you can identify computers using a name. So Mr. Nimal and Mr. Kamal just can communicate using the computer names like this. But when you come inside the computer network, that will be not practical because you have many computers. Now here you have a computers and you interconnected with each other. So to identify computers by name, it's not practical. Therefore, we allocate numbers. Now, I'm the admin in this network. So, I'm allocating 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105. Now, very simple. Every computer, they have a unique number. And now, this computer wants to communicate with 104 computer. Yes. Receiver number is there. Sender number is there. So, it will be easily communicate. But, when you connected with more than one computer network, the situation is different. Now let's see. Here we have two networks. There is a one blue network and there is another yellow network. So they are independently as well as they have a separate numbering. Now let's see. This person wants to communicate with the 105. Yes, it's gone. No problem. And also, in yellow network also, he wants to communicate with 105. Yes, that's also no problem. Now, we want to connect two networks each other. Yes, that's also done. Now, this 101 computer in blue network, he wants to communicate with 105. 105? Which 105? Yes. Here also you have 105. And here also you have 105. Now there is a conflict. Therefore, we need to have universal standard for identifying the computer as well as identify the computer network as well. Therefore, we have something called IP address. That is simply we call as internet protocol address. Now, in your internet protocol address, or IP address, you have a 32-bit address space. And also, this IP address contains four segments of four parts, each part containing eight bits. And also, those eight seg bits separated by dots. Now, let's see. Here, you have first segment, eight bits, second segment, eight bits, third segment, eight bit, and fourth segment, eight bit. And now look at this. Here you have IP address with four segments and then first bit, second bit, third bit, fourth bit. Every bit you have a eight segments. Now this is the maximum IP address you can ever gain. That is all the bits are ones. Therefore here you have a maximum IP address is 255.255.255.255. And then, what is this? This is minimum IP address you can gain. So here, all the bits are zero. Therefore, minimum IP address is zero dot, zero dot, zero dot, zero. And remember, the IP address, every segment must contain zero 
to 255 number more than that to less than that that will be not allowed now look at this we have several ip addresses look at first one is it a legal ip address yes that is a legal ip address how about second one no that is not a second second one is not a legal ip address look at this this is 256 that is wrong because maximumly you can have 255 only but how about third one third one is correct how about fourth one no there is a problem because first segment this is you have a 260 as well as third segment you have a 300 that is not correct and fourth one that is correct now let's see here in your ip address as we discussed we have a 32 bits and then there are two parts that's network part and host part so the network part it can identify what is the network and host under which network that is which host so as you know you have a 32 bits and the 32 bits the first n bit that is represent network and second 32 minus n bits that represent host right now let's see here ip address classes so you have a three ip address classes class a class b class c so class a that is the first segment start with zero and it will be end the last segment that is 255 so here the first class a that is start with ip address 0.0.0.0 but end with 127.255.255.255 and class b start with 128.0.0 and end with 191.255.255.255 and class c that is start with 192.0.0.0 and end with 223.255.255.255 now look at this here you have a ip address that belongs with ip address look at the first segment that is 193 so that is between 192 2 2 2 3 the first segment it will show that is belongs to which ip class and then this is simply class c and then look at this here you have a 129 yes 129 that is belongs to the class b right now here another thing you have a something called network address and broadcast address what is network address as we discuss to identify the network we use something called network address now here every network that as we discuss there is a network address why that is identify the computer network now look at this there is a computer network how can i identify yes using the computer network and then here as we discuss in ip address you have a 32 bits that's having a two parts that is host bits and network bits now let's see how to do class a network address look at this as you know class a is the ip range is 0 to 1 to 7 therefore the first part that is we call as network bits and rest of the all 24 bits that is mentioned as host bits remember if it is a network address all host bit should be zero now look at this here 100.23.57.33 that is a class a ip address therefore network address will be 100.0.0.0 and then class b as we discuss class b's ip range is 128 to 191 here the first 8 bits and second 8 bits that's all 13 bits that's we call as network bits and rest of the 16 bits that's we call as host bits remember here also all host bits should be zero now here the ip address is 148.123.57.33 
and the IP address class is class B and the network address is 148.123.0.0 and then the class C so as you know the class C that is start with 192 to 223 and here first three segment that we call as network bits that is 24 bits and here the last host bits that you have a uh, 8 bits now here this IP address 196.200.57.33 that is class C and here the class C the network address is 196.200.57.0 right now what is broadcast address what do you mean by broadcast address what it does now look at this there is a network and he want to show you a message to everyone at once saying hi. So how to do that? Yes, he broadcast to everyone at once. Now here, the class A, the broadcast address. As we discussed, the first segment, that is network bits, that's having 8 bits. And then all other third segments, all the bit, host bit, should be 1. All the bits should be 1. Therefore, last 24 bits, all bits are 1's. Now here, you have IP address 100.23.57.33. That is a class A. So, the broadcast address will be 100.255.255.255. And then, class B, the first two segment, it will show the network bits and rest of the 16 bits that shows the host bits. Now, all host bits should be ones if it is a broadcast address. Therefore, in this IP address 148.123.57.33, this is belongs to class B IP address. And also, the broadcast address is 148.123.255.255. And when you come to the class C, the first three segments that represent basically network bits. That's you having a 24 bits. And then here you have host bits, 8 bits. Now, the IP address is 196.123.57.33. That is belongs to the IP address class C. And then the broadcast IP address is 196.123.57.255. Now, in today's section, we discuss about the IP address, the component of IP address, what is network address, what is broadcast address as well. Right. Now, there are a few activities you have to do it. And initially, you have to first identify the what is the computer network and what is the computer network class, what is the broadcast address, what is the network address and how we can assign the computer IP addresses for each computer. Now this is task 3. Now here, if you have any doubts, or if you need any more clarification, you can email me. And don't forget to subscribe my email, my YouTube channel. And don't forget to click the bell icon as well. Thank you very much. See you soon.